Well, potential Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump pressed his birther claim with us last week, saying that President Obama has not produced a satisfactory birth certificate, cannot prove he was born in this country, and may be ineligible to be president. Here was Donald Trump on our show. I feel that there is certainly a chance that he was not born in this country. Now, if he were not born in this country, that means he can't be president. It's very simple. I want to see the birth certificates of him. It's very simple. Not a certificate of birth, which means almost nothing, which people can get very easily. Well, we thought we'd turn to the Pulitzer Prize winning PolitiFact.com to help clear up some of Trump's claims. Bill Adair is the founder and editor of Politi PolitiFact, and he joins us now. And we have heard from the Trump organization quite a bit about this segment. So, Bill, let's just start with his claim there. The certificate of, uh, he says birth, it's actually a certificate of live birth, uh, which is what Hawaii uh, has, versus a birth certificate. Help clear this up for you us bet. a little bit. And in fact, this is something that we have done a lot of research on at PolitiFact. We uh, talked to Hawaiian officials about it. They're is obviously, as I think many people know, the birth certificate was posted on the web by the Obama campaign in the fall of 2008, and Hawaiian officials verify that is a real birth certificate, and they have confirmed to us and to others that it is the birth certificate. Now, the, the complaint that Trump has made and that others who are skeptical have made is that, well, that's not the real one, the real one is in a file somewhere, and it might show something else. But Hawaiian officials have addressed that also. They have said what is on the birth certificate that has been produced, which is a computer-generated birth certificate, right. that that is real and that indeed he was born in Hawaii. So, th so there's the issue of the birth certificate and obviously the, 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 those who doubt the president's um, the fact that he was born in the United States are suggesting that there's some deficiency with the certificate of live birth versus a longer form birth certificate. You say Hawaiian officials dispute that. There's another piece of evidence which is, as I understand it, contemporaneous and in birth announcement in the local paper in 1961. Correct. And this to me is uh, even more persuasive in many ways because it's published in the paper for it to be put there in two papers in the two Honolulu newspapers it was placed by the Department of Health back. They do it, they not do it. the, the family. families right. don't do it. This is a county produced in the same way because right next to it, marriage applications yeah, we which have we have up here. up here. Marriage applications which also it's not as if this is just people who filed at the county and death notices the same thing whenever the county recorded a death certificate, correct? Exactly. And it says they're a son born to Mr. and Mrs. Barack Obama. So for there to be any sort of conspiracy, you had to have a lot of groups working together here. You mean, and in other words, the Department of Health would have had to be in on the conspiracy exactly. 50 years ago. Exactly. And so this is, um, I think, corroborating evidence that the birth certificate is, is authentic. And... Uh, you know, well, just to be totally clear, when the Honolulu Advertiser, the other paper, has a birth announcement like this, the presumption is that this is a birth that has taken place in Hawaii, because it does not say born in Honolulu. Correct. But, that's, but, but it only it, reports the, it, the births that happened exactly, in Hawaii. Exactly. And the birth certificate says that, it was, that the birth was in Honolulu. It, you know, Bill, now, the, the um, cynical side of what I've heard from some Republicans on this is, okay, we don't dispute that he's born in Hawaii. But they are trying to smoke out the real birth certificate because they think there will be there will be something else in the birth certificate, perhaps his religious denomination that well, they would put on. Did Hawaii even have that on their birth certificates in um, 1961? Uh, I'm not sure about the the religious faith. I would doubt it. Yeah. But Hawaiian officials have said that what is in their files, that cer certificate of live birth contains the same information as the one that... So it's the same piece of... Released. Whatever was on that original one is, is what now they produced now. All right, exactly. so, but, so the, what they released is the short form, but presumably is there a longer form that's somewhere in the bowels of some bureaucratic building in Hawaii? And if so, why don't they pull it out? We asked the, the health officials that, and they said, for all intents and purposes, they are the same document. And what is on that computer-generated document are the same things that are on the long form, and that long form is really not a, a, right. a so most importantly, terminology. For Donald Trump's claims, what do you give him? Well, uh, Trump made a claim on in his speech to CPAC, and he said uh, that 
people who went to school with Obama don't remember him, and isn't that amazing? And we gave that a... Pants on fire. We, uh, uh, we uh, there's plenty of people who went to school with Donald Trump who or went yeah. to school with Barack Obama who remember him at all levels. They have been very public about it, and so that one earned our lowest rating on Politifact. <laughs> Pants on fire. All, all right. right. Well, we we, we enjoy the, the props. Bill Adair from Politifact. Thank you. And we'll be right back. <laughs>